Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you another custom visual in Power BI. This is the calendar visual. So I think there are three, yeah, I see, yeah, there are three calendar visuals available in Power BI. We're going to be dealing with two. One is a relatively new one and one is a little older one. I'm going to show you the difference between the two so that you can choose for yourself. So I'll go to import from app source and I'll search for calendar. And the one I'm going to show you first is the Beyonds of calendar. It's got a four star rating, which is really great. But there's one slight issue with this that I'll talk about once I start the visual. So yeah, this is the visual. This is how it will look. So yeah, let's. I've already added this. So this is the one that we're going to be dealing with right now. BCI calendar visual. Beyond soft. I'm going to expand this, and I will drag my date over here, and I'll drag my sales. My date in here. Okay, that's great. Now you just see my sales amount in each of these wherever there is sales but remember this data that I have is from 13 to 16 I'll just show you if I go to transform data this is the sales 2 that I'm dealing with sales data 2 and you see the date 13 I'm just gonna make this descending yeah you see I have data till 17th okay so just closing up line not made any changes so this is just showing me one year this is just showing me January 2013 now you have a couple of formatting options available here see because you see this I this I information symbol it says that too many date values not displaying all data filter the data or choose another field because I have put it I have got uh, sales data for four years for almost each day so this visual is not able to show me data on a calendar for all the four years let's look at the formatting options available here so we could have the month and year or just a month or none as well we wouldn't want none we want the month only let's say actually let's keep the year so that you just know that this is just 30 and weekday should be long i want to see the whole thing yes yeah, sunday obviously for a thickness let's make it uh, five and border color should be that let's increase the size of the text inside so that it is visible to all of you just let's make it 20 18 and 18 is good with numbers i think they turned on okay. oh no we don't need weak numbers let's go to data colors now white doesn't look good eh? it doesn't so let's do let's have diverging colors we don't need to input the value we'll just add the colors so yeah let's go for a light blue and an intermediate blue maybe and a darker this one this one will do so you see how the data gets highlighted so the lighter ones is the minimum value though this one which is relatively lighter than this one is the between man in between value and this is the largest value so you see this is 4000 this is 1400 and this is 29307 so that it decides upon its own i i have the option of inputting values as to which is the minimum which is the central and which is the maximum value so we have the data labels and other options that are usual now like i told you i found that this visual is this calendar visual is not that great because it shows me only for data for one particular year for the month of january so this can be useful if you want to break up your break up your sales data for that way i'm not saying it's not useful it's got four star rating on microsoft app source so obviously it is useful but then it's useful for the situation where you just show want to show a particular month of a particular year now what i'm going to show you is another visual let's keep this aside one second yeah let's drag this to the side also let me just add a card here so that you know that this visual is fully interactive let's put my sales in there total sales you drag it to the top right corner so this is my total sales so this is fully interactive so that is not a problem okay so yeah let's get back to it let's get back to my other visual so i'll go to import from app stores i'll go to i'll search for calendar 
at the end DER sorry one second my bad yeah so right now I'm going to be showing you this calendar visual this is by Elastic Cloud it's got three stars it was launched in 2017 so this is how it looks so let's go play with this one so I've already downloaded it here so I'll just click on this and let's expand this actually let's reduce the size of this particular one because we've already seen that and let's focus on this one now this one is quite interesting i actually found this to be very interesting so i'm going to my i'm going to go to my date here i'm going to add my sales and now just look what is happening i have data for look at don't look at this visual sorry so i have data for 13 14 15 16 for all the months and for all the days of the year now even here I have a message that too many values are being displayed. I've added too many values, but then I see all of my values in here. I have, I don't see 17. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't see 17. So one year is missing. No issues. We've got the four years together. So we've got 13, 14, 15, 16. And this is also a fully interactive visual. So if you have a look at the card right here, if I click on any of the spells, so it'll change the one second let me just expand this if you click on any of the cells the formatting is done accordingly similarly if you go to the formatting options what we have here is the cell color i mean i don't want to see green maybe i want to see it like a, as a heat map so red would do so yeah this one second let's take the dark one you don't have a you don't have many higher sales values that is why you don't see a lot of red in here the title is you could change its sales by date let's keep it that way you could change the font color other formatting options are the same so you have a couple of options i think there's one more calendar so let me let's just have a look at that as well so the first one that i showed you was a buy soft calendar second one was a calendar visual and let's have a look at the third one i think yeah there is one more. i think there are two more let's have a look at another one and then I'll end the video so yeah I showed you calendar visual this was way and I showed you the beyond of calendar so we have five more we'll do one more we'll do mm, let's do this one custom calendar by Aquilon let's see what it does so this is how it looks okay this looks great this looks amazing you've got a customizable grid you've got a support single and multiple selection which is good and all colors and most visual elements are customizable great fiction relative start date multiple number of metrics no issues so this one looks great let's add this and let's get working so actually let's delete this one okay so you, you've seen this one so let's delete this you've seen this one so let's delete this as well and let's just get straight to this one i will increase the size and uh, you have the same two fields you've got your date and you've got your say one second got your sales and now this is what I call a calendar visual the previous two were good this is amazing now it shows me for 2020 I don't need 2020 why is it 2020 calendar start date one one two thousand thirteen Cell size is great, I guess. We need to increase that. Let's make it 40. Let's decrease it. Let's make it 40. Uh -huh. So that we can have more visuals. More. Let's actually reduce that also. Let's make it 35 so that we can see the other months as well together. And let's scroll down. Let's see what else we have here. So we can change the colors, okay? So you've got the header title, header weekdays days you can change those colors you've got the legends you could turn on legends so once i turn on legends you see that sales will be shown because sales is in blue no issues with that label color text size I mean, you could change those you could add a title if you want and you've got i'll turn on the border looks good 
um, let's see what metrics has so yeah I can change the color I can have red and this is the formatting option that we have available here so just look at and this visual too is fully interactive like any other visual obviously when you move your cursor on it I think we can see we have the data labels option over here oh no we don't we don't actually in this one we don't have data labels in this one so what you'll have to do is click on it to see the particular stage but this looks good this one actually looks pretty nice so you could go down and you see that this is 13 and I could make it to 14, 15, 16 and this gives me a clearer a clearer picture, a better picture than the previous two visuals. Obviously everyone is entitled to choose a visual on their own for whatever reasons. It depends on the situation you're using that particular visual from for. Uh, so that is not an issue. And uh, number of months. Let's make this 24 and let's see what happens. 35 oh no problem just give it a second my yeah it's loaded so now you see 14 as well so this is great you could i thought you could not do that but we can do that so i can have literally i can have any num a multiple number of years here i could have literally let's go to 17 why not one second let's go to my date and let's let, let, let's just look how it works right why not increase it this way and we've got 60 months that's great so you got 15 in here you got 13 to 15 let's not increase it more that's something complicated so you've got 16 as well you've got 14 13 14 you've got 17 as well so I bought in 17 as also so no issues so you can see the sales you move your cursor around and you'll see the exact sales amount as i told you this is interactive with any other visual you have here you could add a slicer maybe oh sorry that was not supposed to be done click outside the visual always click outside the visual i just converted my calendar visual into a slicer visual one second yeah so let's add a slicer at the H slicer or maybe a sales value slicer you want to see sales values of particular months maybe particular days and once you add your sales value okay I don't need this Q&A visual let's leave that let's just have my slicer in here let's have my sales in here okay so you know once you filter this entire calendar gets filtered and you only see red wherever there was a particular sale so you see one here and you see one here so i hope you like this video on the calendar visual which is a custom visual in power bi we've got two more calendar visuals i'm not going to be covering those maybe you can try those out and let me know in the comments how they work out for you and i hope you keep on experimenting with power bi keep learning keep subscribing subscribe to the channel for more content stay updated i'm going to be doing a couple of more videos on power bi custom visuals thank you and please subscribe to the channel thank you